say recreational drugs, uh, you're suggesting that anybody who takes it to get high, that over time they have to take more and more uh, of that stimulant to be happy. Uh, I would tend to disagree with you. I would imagine that there are a lot of people who are able to, let's say, take recreational drugs maybe once a week for 20, 30 years, and they don't need increasingly more just to give them the same type of pleasure. What? Uh, you're talking about, yeah, they are good at that. These are the exceptions. All, uh, but it's not my opinion. All research addiction, all research, I'm my one expert on yeah, addiction. addiction is like yeah. that, right? Addiction, you always... Drug you, you, addicts and alcoholics and whatever? Yeah, but my people who recre use drugs recreational, and, and you know, there are millions and millions of people who do, not all of them mm -hmm. have problems. There are all kind of social drinkers that are all problems. I'm saying that. It's so gamble. Uh, uh, not everybody is a problem no, gambler. No, no. Uh, mm -hmm. There are people, they are social gamblers, social yeah. drinkers, so on. Yeah. They are the exceptions, okay? Mm -hmm. There are people who are genetically predisposed. There are people who are genetically predisposed. And there are people due to pressure in life, you see, escape. They take more and more. The, by definition, addiction means that you have to take more and more in order to reach the same level of pleasure. That is scientific definition of addiction. That doesn't depend on your personality. That's, right? Of course, I say it depends on yeah. the The definition of addiction, if you're addicted, you're not addicted to any problem. Okay? Yeah. If you're addicted, then you take more and more drug, more and more effort to get some life. Because this okay? isn't an addiction, and, and for those of you that are um, educated in psychology and all that, isn't um, addictions kind of a there's a part in our brain and I, the name of it's just escaped me but some people really can't quit because there's something in the brain that that they actually have and, and i wish i could remember the name but i heard this on a on a on a show that they no matter how hard they try to quit the addiction they have that part missing in their brain is that okay this is what happened okay. no, no. addiction there are productive factors, there are other genetic factors. Some people are predisposed, mm -hmm. okay? Now, you have a choice in terms of whether you want to get addicted or not. You know what? Like, like the example you talk about, this person has self control, okay? Say, I don't want to get addicted. I don't want to use it, like social drink or occasional drug use, okay? So you have self discipline, self regulation. Not everybody can do that. At that stage, you have a choice. But, here's a here, 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 big but. Once you get addicted, you become a disease. Once you get, addicted, once you get uh, addicted, if your brain chemistry change, your brain structure change. For example, because the drug, the drug stimulate dopamine uptake, a short change, a short change, the regular mechanism to produce dopamine. Okay, well, well natural way to produce dopamine. But when you struck to, to stimulate that, that, that part of the brain that responsible for dopamine shrunk. Okay, I'm a drug that shrunk, being dysfunctioning. So therefore, you have to depend on this drug to keep up the level of happiness. Okay? Uh, if you don't, then you can be drugs sometimes. We, we don't want to get too detailed. So that time, you need professional help. <laughs>